Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Yes, in our previous session, we saw the concept of how to find the highest power of a prime number in n factorial. That was our last concept last in last session and continuing that this session we are about to see an extension of what we saw there. So here we are going to see how to find the highest power of a given composite number k in n factorial. So the method is going to totally vary. So in our previous session we saw the very basic concept. We saw also some example and we saw a quick shortcut on how to find the prime numbers highest power in a given n factorial. But this session if we are given a composite number how can we do the same that is given an n factorial how can I find the highest power of a composite number there. So that is what we are going to see here and also we have got a problem here what is the highest power of the number 6 in 150 factorial. So it should be noticed that the number 6 here is not a prime number it is a composite number is it or not and we are supposed to find the highest power of 6 which we can find here in this 150 factorial or otherwise I can say if 6 power x or I can have what 6 power x inside 150 factorial in such a way that my x is the highest number. This is the objective of this session. Yes. And we'll try to find or learn the concept through this problem itself. So for which what we need to do that we will see here. So as I told our number here 6 it is a composite number right. So once we are given a composite number we must just decompose it that number right. I mean like we have to decompose we have to factorize our number here. So in that way 6 can be factorized as 2 power 1 and 3 power 1. So this is going to be the factorization or prime factorization of our number 6 and we need to find its highest power in this 150 factorial. Yes. So for that what we need to do is we cannot directly apply the previous sessions shortcut method here like how we did that we took our number our n factorial I mean that n value we took there and we did repeated step division if you remember right if you have missed that session kindly see that video and come here for a better understanding. So there we did repeated step division and from there we got what is the highest power by adding yes. But here we cannot directly employ that method. Why? Because here our um, number is not a prime number. Here we have got a composite number. That is the reason, right? So in order to do that, then what we have to do? We have to break our number and that's what we have done here. Yes. Now what I'm going to do here is inside this 150 factorial, I'm going to check or I'm going to find out what is the maximum power of 2 available and also at the same time maximum power of 3 available. Now these two numbers are prime numbers now very well I can employ our easy shortcut method right. So let's do that here. So our n value here is 150. So first I'm going to start doing it with 2 that is I'm going to check what is the highest power of 2 available in 150 factorial. So let me do the repeated division process. So 150 divided by 2 we have 75 times and once again divided by 2. So we can go up to 37 times. So do it here put it here. So once again by 2 we can have 18 times. Yes and once again 18 into we have got 9 times and 2. So here this will be actually 4 times and once again 2, 2 times and once again 2, 1 time. Yes, we can stop here. Further, we can't proceed because we have got a number 1 and this 1 is lesser than this number 2. So in that case, stop here. And as usual, what do we do? We'll just strike out our first number, right? We'll just separate or we'll just eliminate our first number and all the remaining numbers we will be adding it in order to get the highest power of 2 in this 150 factorial. That's what we usually do, right? So in the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these numbers. So I think we can just add the numbers in sections. So if I try to do it, I'll be getting 4 plus 2 plus 1. This will be a 7 and 7 plus 9 would give you uh, 16. 16 plus 18 would give you 34. 34 plus uh, uh, 37, 34 plus 37 would give you uh, 71, I think, right? So 34 plus 31 will be 71 and 71 plus 75 will finally give you 146. So 
yeah you can just check it if you want so this means i can have 2 power 146 inside this 150 factorial that's the meaning okay yes we'll have it separately here on the one side and yes i'll just put a line here because i'm going to do the same process i mean in the inside this 150 factorial what is the highest power of 3 available so for which i have to do my repeated step division process now by the number 3 yes shall we start so 150 in 3 it is exactly 50 times and again 3 i can go up to 3 16s are 48 right so i can go up to 16 times and once again 3 I've got uh, 5 times because 3 5s are 15 and once again by 3 if I do I'll have only one time yes because 3 1s are 3 that's it only one time so further I can't proceed yes we can stop here so in that case now we will be having same way I can just eliminate my first number 150 from where I started and I can add all the remaining numbers so this will give me 16 plus 5 plus 1 this will be giving me 16 plus 5 plus 1 will be 22 and 22 plus this 50 I have to do so 22 plus 50 will give you 72 is it or not so 72 so this means the highest power of 3 available in 150 factorial will be equal to this 72 so that means I will have 2 power 146 inside this 150 factorial so maximum 2's if you have in this 150 factorial it will be 2 power 146 and same way maximum power of 3 will be this 3 power 72 so I can have 2 power 146 and 3 power 72 inside my 150 factorial but now what we need we need the highest power of 6 only right so in order to form 1 6 just remember this point is very much important in order to form 1 6 we definitely need to combine 1 2 and 1 3 together is it or not so 1 2 and 1 3 when they merge together is what will give us 1 6 so we have got 146 twos and here 72 threes so with this collection with this collection how many maximum number of six can we create or can we form that we have to think it's very easy for us to understand that here the lesser power when we compare among these two the lesser power is 72 so in that case we can form a maximum of only 6 power 72 why because the other twos i mean the remaining number of twos will not have its pair of three to get it collide and form a six that's the reason okay so here we may have still two one two power 146 but all these twos will not have a, a pair three so maximum I can form only 6 power 72 so that means the highest power of 6 available inside this 150 factorial will be equal to 72 so the highest power of 6 in 150 factorial the answer would be 72 and if you are very wise enough or if you are brilliant you can easily guess it here itself and you can save your time by not wasting or not doing this calculation why because here I have to do 2's power and 3's power if I'm able to visualize or if I'm able to realize it in prior that only the 3's power will be minimum in count it is not necessary for us to just worry about what can be the maximum power of 2 whatever it is it will be definitely more than 3's power so if we realize it at the first itself so very well we can save our time we can just go for directly 3's power how we can do that is just break the 6 so when you try to break the 6 you will be getting 2 into 3 right 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 this is what you will be getting and just go for the highest number 2 and 3 the highest number is 3 and you can directly go test or go find the highest power of that 3 alone instead of wasting your time in finding what is the highest power of 2 obviously highest power of 2 will be definitely more than highest power of 3 so if you realize it you can directly go find the highest power of 3 itself and that will be what your highest power of 6 itself and that's what we are doing here so hereafter if you come to get a composite number and if you are supposed to find what is the highest power of your given composite number in a given n factorial what you are supposed to do is you just break your composite number and go for the highest number right because that highest number will what have least power and that least power will be the maximum power of your composite number in your n factorial i think the logic is very clear to you once again give a view and try other problems also for a better practice and i hope the concept that we have seen here 
that we saw here is very clear to you and if at all you have got any doubts you are most welcome to post it in the comment box and if you find this session to be very useful please give a like and also share your friends and please subscribe to our channel for more videos and we'll soon catch it in the next session with other in interesting concept and some other interesting problem see you soon there thank you so much